On August 14, 1995, Microsoft released Windows 95 to the world. This release meant a huge departure from the rather janky UI found in its predecessor, Windows 3.1, in favor of a more intuitive interface with the addition of the taskbar and the glorious start menu, features that have become essential till this very day. In this video, we will take Windows 10 back to its roots and we will get to experience how things were 29 years ago. Alright, so here we are booting up into the operating system. And here we are, so this is the logon screen. Type a username and password to log into Windows. The uh, password. So yeah, here we are at the desktop, so we get this dialog. Welcome to Windows 95. And we, we got a tip as well. And yeah, so this is the desktop, as you guys see. It's a lot more simple than Windows 98's desktop, as you can tell. There are the icons, you know, and taskbar, which is a bit more anemic in comparison. So we've got inbots, and we've got the internet, which does work. It does open up this dialogue here. Well, kind of, if you actually go throughout the setup. Fails. The Microsoft Network icon does nothing, it's just decorative. We've got online services, which opens this up. It opens up a Windows 95 Lite File Explorer. So, yeah, the File Explorer is just like the taskbar, is anemic. It's got nothing but simple menus over here, and that's it, just like Windows 95. And yeah, we have this text document about online services. It got this open with dialogue. That's a uh, notepad. Yeah, here it is. Read me for online service providers, August 1996. So yeah, this is just stuff that I don't care about. Neither do you. Yeah, yeah here, we, here we have some shortcuts. So we have AOL. Have, oh, it just spawned a shortcut over here. AT&T, which opens this up uh, uh okay set up CompuServe this will install CompuServe 3.0 do you wish to continue let's try that to be okay I'm gonna be honest with you I've never actually tried this I've never actually installed this I'm doing this for the first time ever and I don't even I don't even know if it'll work um okay so that's a good sign the, set, the setup just froze at 25%. Will I come back? Oh yeah, here, here we go. And now we have this. Welcome to CompuServe 3.0 installation. Let's just click express. My god, the setup wizard. I've never gone through a setup wizard like this before. And there we go. Funny enough, here it says... Uh, a CompuServe 3.0 icon has been placed on your Windows NT desktop, yeah, as NT 4.0, I guess. This is meant to look like Windows 95, but, you know, NT 3.0 NT 3 looks exactly the same. So, yeah, let's click on finish. And here we go. So, yeah, I'm surprised to see that it actually works. <laughs> like, this is freaking Windows 10. That's, that's, that's actually a W right there. We've got CompuServe working on Windows 10. Look at that. Then we have Setup Wow from CompuServe. Right there. Please insert the disk labeled Windows 95 CD-ROM. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, okay. Then we have uh, Credits. Now, it's, obviously, this will open up, you know, the credits for this mod here. I'm just gonna go through this list real quick and uh, yeah now uh yeah so i'm gonna adjust the resolution a bit because this is not ideal so we're gonna go to 1336 by 768 let's do that yep there we go we're gonna arrange this a bit so now next up is we're gonna open up the start menu so yeah, we've got the Windows 95 start menu with all of its items. Got shut down, which opens up this dialog over here. Uh, we have help, which opens this up and we double click on 31user.help. It opens this up. Yeah, we can actually, you know, see some Windows 95 help. 
so yeah a list of what's new a new look and feel so yeah we have this with this 95 help then we have find settings control panel opens up a windows 95 like control panel it's not entirely accurate so it keeps the dot l and k file extension it keeps the file extension it looks a bit uh, out of place but yeah we've got some windows 95 like applets we have accessibility options i'm not gonna go through this because it does mess up some metrics if you actually go through this applet then add or remove hardware which opens up device manager nothing crazy going on over here add or remove programs date and time seriously like why display dot lnk and it's gonna spam you with this error dialog i figured out a way to get rid of this but yeah, once you go through like the 6 billion error dialogues, you can actually get to this applet just fine. And yeah, we're gonna go with um, setup. There we go. We also have some Windows 95 screensavers. We've got 3D flower bots, 3D flying objects, 3D maze. Oh, I love this one. Oh yeah, that is epic. We have 3D pipes. We have 3D text. We also have appearance, which we actually select something from here. It does nothing. And settings. There we go. Then we also have uh, gaming options. Internet. This is actually the Windows 10 internet applet, and it actually looks a lot more different uh, compared to Windows 95. It does have the Windows 95 icons though, but I found the Windows 95 style to be a bit too unusable, so that's why I kept this instead. It, it's actually kind of functional. We have system. Yeah, just a Windows 9X style system over here. Microsoft Windows 95, it does have the Windows 10 build number over here. So yeah, that's not entirely accurate. Now we're gonna take a look at some programs. So we have Internet Explorer and you could say, oh yeah, it's gonna be Mozilla Firefox just like every other mod of yours. Uh, no, it's actually Internet Explorer version 1.5 as you can see by the fact that it fails to load any modern website at all. Now let's actually try to load an old website. Let's try getting to the old net. Here we go. So we're gonna go to Microsoft. Oh, shut up. Microsoft.com. There we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's still loading, as you can see. We're getting some error messages. So, I, so yeah, that's, I guess that's how it looked like. I mean, not entirely, but like, at least you have some sort of an, some sort of an idea of how it used to look like back in 1996. Man, this thing is so old that it can't even render the websites correctly. <laughs> now we also have MS-DOS prompt, which is actually a separate command prompt. So it's not actually the Windows 10 command prompt. This is actually a recreation of the Windows 9X command prompt. It's just that it complains about some signing key for, for whatever reason, like I don't really understand. And we also have some other things. We have net meeting and messaging. Uh, we also have the Microsoft network, but they don't work. So I'm not even gonna bother with that. And you know, we have the good old calculator. We have character map. We have clipboard viewer. We have a huge load of Windows 95 programs. 
So it's not just the basic ones. We actually have uh, these programs as well. We have Hyper Terminal. Look at that. There is, of course, Notepad and WordPad. Now, something wrong with this WordPad is that when you actually want to save something, you just click on save. Yep, it crashes. But don't worry though, I do have the Windows 10 Word padding here if you need it. Here it is. I didn't replace that. We have some multimedia stuff here. We have active movie control. But obviously we have no active movie files, so it's not gonna work. We have CD player, media player, which, well, it crashes like it opens up but then it crashes so yeah there's that sound recorder which you can tell definitely records stuff so yeah this is definitely uh, a random test recording just to make sure yeah this does work this is in fact the sound recorder of windows 95 working flawlessly on windows 10 made to look like windows 95 in fact and of course we have volume control which i don't think it's actually functional but that's a nice little touch i added there we have system tools and they do kind of work but yeah they're not 100 percent functional we have compression agent which won't work because it says that we need microsoft plus disk to fragmenter Actually, if we click on here, it won't work actually. So yeah, we can't use that either. Inbox repair tool. Oh, that does work, I guess. Because we have some Windows 95 games. So we have Free Cell, we have Hearts. What is your name? Um, Toskin. Oh, look at that. And I'm gonna leave it till here because I don't know how to play Art, then Minesweeper. Now, actually, uh, yeah, you can tell that there's a there's an issue with the borders. So yeah, these applications are running with a compatibility tool. I don't remember exactly the name of that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here on screen. Then there's finally Solitaire. Again, don't know how to play any of these games. I'm too young for this. Then we got some fat stuff. And no, they don't work. And it's decorative. Yeah, shut up. Now there's something else that I would like to uh, point out here. So we have my briefcase and there's actually stuff in here. So look at this 10 at 64 folder. So we have some themes going on over here. So we have some themes. We have brick, desert, eggplant, and some other ones here. I'm going to go with slate try slate well here we go but yeah it looks a bit weird yes because neither the start button icon nor the start menu itself work properly with this theme but it does work properly with i believe storm yeah here we go looks a lot better now Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention one thing. Pressing Control, Shift, and Escape will open up the Windows 95 Task Manager, in which in this case is called Tasks. And not only that, by pressing Control, Alt, End, because apparently according to ChatGPT, you cannot override the Control, Alt, Delete command, even by using Auto Hotkey like this uses. Uh, let me press that. Look at that. Yup. We can close programs from here, we, we get this dialogue, and not only that, it's actually functional. We can end the task right here, and not only that, we can also shut the whole thing down, just like Windows 9X. I hope you like this mod, and I hope you also like this video. If you did, don't forget to leave this a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Now, if you excuse me i'm gonna shut this thing down look at that
Get down.